everyone welcome back to GK today i am mujhe sana and in this video we'll cover the current affairs before we move ahead let me inform you that these questions are part of our daily 20 mcq series 2022 in the gk today's android application so if you are looking for the text version of these questions and their explanations along with the interactive quiz you may consider joining our daily 20 mcq series in the gk today android application in this course in app you get daily 20 mcqs a fortnightly quiz a monthly revision document and also category wise revision ebooks that are optimized for reading on mobile you are also able to access all archives of questions from january 2020 onwards and let me tell you one more thing if you want the hindi version of this session you can refer to our former channel named as gk today the link has been given in the description box from where you can reach to so without taking much of your time let's get started good morning everyone welcome back to gk today and today we'll be discussing most important mcqs for 16th of july 2022 let's start state of the food security and nutrition in the world 2022 report was released by which particular organization so the state of food security and nutrition in the world report was issued by united nations agencies fao if ad unicef world food program and world health organization and the number of undernourished people in india has declined in the last 15 years to 224.3 million in 2019 to 2021 and also report noted that there are more anemic adults and women in india which is the world's second most populous country okay so only thing you have to remember is this report was from united nations fao means food and agriculture organization headquarter lies in rome italy ifad is international fund for agricultural development and headquarter again lies in rome italy now coming to the question slide mohammed barkindo who passed away recently was the head of which international organization so he was the head of opec means organization of the petroleum exporting countries headquarter of which lies in vienna austria okay and uh, he was scheduled to be replaced by haitham al gas who is from kuwait in the month of july itself okay and talking about vienna austria it was also in news because recently the city has stopped the global liability index which has been released by economist intelligence unit right so first was vienna austria second was copenhagen from denmark and third was zurich from switzerland right and talking about the indian cities this ranking was stopped by new delhi as it was ranked at 112th position then it was followed by mumbai and the rank of mumbai was 117th fine which indian organization carried out the maiden flight test of autonomous flying wing technology demonstrator this is defense research and development organization pslv orbital experimental module is associated with which organization first of all don't forget what is the full form of poem pslv orbital experimental module and what is pslv polar satellite launch vehicle so this is related to isro which organization manufactures advanced light helicopter mk3 helicopters so these alh mk3 helicopters have been organized by hindustan aeronautics limited which organization tested indigenously developed anti tank guided missile from the state of maharashtra so recently drdo has tested this anti tank guided missile that has been created indigenously from the state of maharashtra fine you have to tell me mohammed barkindo belongs to which country do let me know in the comments next question which is india's third and the most recent power exchange that was launched recently so hindustan power exchange is the third power exchange in the country and it was launched recently so it is backed by bombay stock exchange and 
Power Trading Corporation. So PDC India and BAC Investment hold 25% each in the Hindustan Power Exchange, while 9.9% is held by ICICI Bank. And the other two exchanges in the country are first is India Energy Exchange and second is Power Exchange of India Limited. Okay. So while IEX holds 98% and it is almost monopoly of IEX on the total traded power. Fine. Let's see some of the important rankings. In the Global Environment Performance Index, Denmark came in first place in the index where does India rank. So in this ranking, Denmark was at the top and India was at the bottom position at rank 180th, which stayed top in the Delta rankings of Shyam Prasad Mukherjee Rurban Mission in the month of June. So it has been topped by the state Jharkhand and this mission was launched by central government in the year 2016 and aim is to promote local economic development and to enhance the basic services and also to create well-planned clusters okay which is the most expensive city in india for the foreign employees as per the mercer's 2022 cost of living city ranking so the most expensive city in india for the foreign employees is mumbai and rank of it was 127 then it was followed by new delhi and the rank of new delhi was 100 55. And the least expensive cities from India were Pune and Kolkata. The rank of Pune was 201 and Kolkata was ranked at 203. Right? Next is, what is the rank of India in the World Gold Council report of the largest gold recyclers? So we are at fourth position in terms of gold recycling and we have recycled total 75 tons of gold fine and first position was occupied by china because it has recycled 168 tons of gold then second was italy with 80 tons of gold and third was us with 78 tons of gold okay so first was china then italy then us and then india which state is ranked first in asia in affordable talent in global startup ecosystem report this is state Kerala. Also, Kerala has been ranked at fourth position globally. So, Kerala is basically suitable for investment in artificial intelligence and in data analytics. Okay. Next question Which is the venue of National Conclave on Mines and Mineral? So, Union Minister for Mines, Mr. Prahalat Joshi, has inaugurated the sixth National Conclave on mines and minerals in New Delhi. So this conclave has been organized as a part of Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav and Union Home Minister Amit Shah presented Rashtriya Khanij Vikas Puraskar and other awards in different categories at this conclave. Right? Now let's see some of the important venues. What is the name of the mascot of 44th Chess Olympiad to be hosted by Chennai in 2022. So for the 44th Chess Olympiad that is to be hosted by Chennai, the mascot is Thambi. Okay. And if we revise some more mascots, don't forget that the mascot of Halo India University Games was Dhakar. Right. And host of this event was Haryana. Fine. Also on World Environment Day that is celebrated on 5th of June every year, our Environment Minister Bhupen Yadav has launched a mascot and its name was Prakriti, right? And Chacha Chaudhary is the mascot of National Mission on Clean Ganga, okay? Which country is the host of Shangri-La Dialogue that is Asia Security Summit? So this summit was hosted by Singapore. Which city is the host of the Summit of the Americas? 2022. Answer is Los Angeles. Which city will host India's first international conference on cruise tourism in 2022? Answer would be Mumbai. Which country hosted the 10-day meeting of parties to the Antarctic Treaty? Answer would be 
जर्मनी ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट इज द टेन्योर एंड फाइनेंशियल आउटले ऑफ द जूट मार्क इंडिया स्कीम सो द गवर्नमेंट हैज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड सर्टिफिकेशन ऑफ ऑथेंटिसिटी फॉर द जूट प्रोडक्ट्स विद द लॉन्च ऑफ जूट मार्क इंडिया लोगो एंड इट इज अ काइंड ऑफ इनिशिएटिव टू प्रमोट इंडियन जूट प्रोडक्ट राइट सो दिस वॉज इम्प्लीमेंटेड अंडर एन एम्ब्रेला स्कीम फॉर द डेवलपमेंट एंड प्रमोशन ऑफ द जूट सेक्टर बिटवीन फाइनेंशियल ईयर ट्वेंटी अप टू 2026 and the total financial outlay was 485.58 crore rupees so each jute mark label will contain a unique qr code with information on producer and the national jute board is the nodal agency of union textiles ministry which is responsible for the promotion of jute and the jute product fine so correct answer would be option number b Also, don't forget that Information and Broadcasting Minister unveiled the new logo of country's public service broadcaster Prasar Bharti. Okay, and this is a statutory autonomous body set up by an Act of Parliament, and it comprises of Doordarshan and All India Radio. Okay, so the new logo is also a blend of both the organization. and the map of india signifies the service of trust and the dark moderate blue color represents both sky and sea okay so you can be asked that the new logo of prasar bharti which was released recently features which color answer would be blue let's see some of the important schemes what type of scheme is pradhan mantri jeevan jyoti bima yojana this is kind of life insurance scheme okay and why it was in news because recently government has hiked the premium rates for pradhan mantri jeevan jyoti bima yojana scheme and pradhan mantri suraksha bima yojana okay istri nidhi is a scheme associated with which state or the union territory so this scheme belongs to the state of telangana pdun wfs is a scheme implemented by which union ministry So this is a scheme that is implemented by Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports the minister of which is Anurag Singh Thakur right and the full form of this is Pandit Deen Dayal Upadhyay National Welfare for Sports Person National Welfare for Sports Person okay National Apprenticeship Promotion Scheme is the initiative of which union ministry so this is the initiative of Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship Which Indian state has launched a new scheme named as Nari Ko Naman This is a scheme from the state Himachal Pradesh Which is the first state assembly to pass a resolution against the Agni Path recruitment scheme So the first state to pass a resolution against this particular recruitment scheme is Punjab okay. Next question India achieved a world record for the construction of longest viaduct in which city so india achieved a world record for construction of the longest double decker viaduct in nagpur with total 3.14 kilometers okay so maharashtra metro and the national highways authority of india also constructed the highest number of metro stations on this double decker viaduct which has been recognized by asia book of records and india book of records okay let's see some of the important cities that were in news defense minister rajnath singh launched 75 defense product powered by artificial intelligence from which city answer would be new delhi because artificial intelligence defense symposium and exhibition was organized in new delhi home minister amit shah unveiled the statue of peace of swami ramanujacharya at which city so the statue of peace has been unveiled at shrinagar to pay tribute to the swami ramanujacharya which city is the host of 2022 global biodiversity conclave this is bonn the central government has approved a mega cluster of mangoes in which city for 100 crore rupees so this approval has been done for lucknow and don't forget that 
few days back a mango festival was organized with the country bahrain okay as per the huron india future unicorn index 2022 which city is the startup capital of india so bangalore is the startup capital of india with total 46 startups then it is followed by delhi delhi has total 25 startups and then at third place it is mumbai with total 16 startups okay next question which institution introduced the mechanism to facilitate international trade in rupees so the reserve bank of india has announced a mechanism to facilitate international trade in rupees with immediate effect and this move will help in trade with the countries under global sanctions and may add strength to the rupee in forex trade okay coming to the question slide Every forest which was seen in the news is located in which state or the union territory so as we know that eknath shinde has become the new chief minister of maharashtra now the cabinet has reversed the previous government's decision to relocate a proposed mumbai metro shed project from this arey colony okay so several activists from mumbai have been fighting to preserve the green space of mumbai and arey forest is an urban forest which lies in the eco sensitive zone of sanjay gandhi national park okay so it lies in the state of maharashtra who is the deputy chief minister of maharashtra it is devendra fadnavis talchar coal fields which was seen in the news is located in which particular state so talchar coal fields of mahanadi coal field is one of the largest fields with about 52 billion tons of coal resources and talchar coal field has produced more than 95 million tons coal during financial year 22 so to ensure efficient coal evacuation construction of rail line started in a phased manner in the talchar coal field and the ministry of coal has identified construction of this mcrl phase 1 and 2 project as high impact project under prime minister gati shakti so this talchar coal field lies in the state of odisha which state has released a road map to invest in early childhood education programs so meghalaya has launched a road map to invest in the early childhood education program why to revamp elementary education in meghalaya who is the chief minister konrad k sangma and he announced that the government has earmarked 300 crore rupees from externally aided project to make investment in the early childhood education program fine jitendra singh inaugurated which of the following states first industrial biotech park so india's very first industrial biotech park has been inaugurated in jammu and kashmir which of the following states now holds the title of largest state in terms of the total amount of outstanding micro loan so tamil nadu has basically replaced west bengal in terms of outstanding micro loans okay next question who has been named the captain of the indian women's cricket team in the 2022 commonwealth games so harman preet kaur has been named as the captain of indian women's team which is set to play at the 2022 commonwealth games birmingham okay so smriti mandhana was named as the deputy captain and this is the very first time that women's t20 cricket is participating in the commonwealth games after a men's odi tournament was played at the 1998 kuala lumpur commonwealth games fine so don't forget that for 2022 commonwealth games captain of indian women's cricket team is harmanpreet kaur Let's see some of the important cricket related current affairs. Which is the first country to announce equal pay for both male and female cricketers? This is New Zealand. And both at domestic as well as international level, men and women would be paid equally. Which Indian cricketer created a world record for scoring the most runs in an over in test cricket? This is Jaspreet Bumrah. And he has made total 35 runs in an over eon morgan who announced retirement from the international cricket was from which team so he was from england 
which cricket team created a world record with a one day international score of 498 run this is again england and england has created this record against new zealand which company recently acquired the uae t20 cricket league franchisee this is adani group okay and don't forget that the first woman cricketer to appear in six world cups is mithali raj fine next question asian under 20 wrestling championships was held in which country so india's under 20 wrestling team has bagged 22 medals including four gold medal in the asian under 20 wrestling championship that was held in manama bahrain okay so india has claimed four gold nine silver and nine bronze medals in this event and among the 22 medals the women's team won 10 medals including three gold and uh, before it also we have seen that indian wrestlers have clinched eight medals in the under 15 asian wrestling championship fine let's see some of the important championships what is india's position on the under 15 asian wrestling championship so we were at third position first was iran second was kazakhstan and third was india which indian wrestler won a bronze medal at the under 23 asian wrestling championships 2022 this wrestler is deepak punia which is the venue of the 2022 women's world boxing championship so this championship took place in istanbul turkey right and in the same event nikhat zareen backed the gold medal and she is from the state telangana can you tell me which two other women backed the bronze medal in the same championship do let me know in the comments which state won the hockey india senior women's national championship 2022 this is odisha and odisha has defeated karnataka to win this championship which state's e proposal system has won the champion project award in the united nations wsis prizes 2022 answer would be meghalaya fine next question when is the international malala day observed so this day is observed on 12th of july every year to honor malala who works for women's right to education across the globe actually in the year 2012 she was shot by the taliban for her campaign for the education of girls and malala and her father co-founded the malala fund which is a platform to support the girls education right so in the year 2014 she was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize and with this she became the youngest ever recipient of Nobel Peace Prize and also she was designated as United Nations Messenger of Peace in the year 2017 okay so these are her some of the important achievements let's see some of the important days and themes what is the theme of the National Doctors Day 2022 this day is observed on 1st of July and this year theme was family doctors on the front line what is the theme of digital india week 2022 so this week was celebrated from 4th to 9th of july 2022 and uh, where in the state of gujarat and what was the theme catalyzing new india's decade okay what was the theme for international day of yoga 2022 it is observed on 21st of june and theme for this year is yoga for humanity what is the theme of the world blood donor day 2022 theme was blood donation an act of solidarity you have to tell me when do we observe world blood donor day now let's start with today's quiz here on the slide you can see five questions which have been taken from the past two three days current affairs pause the video and try to solve each of these questions and at the end of the lecture, do not forget to share your scores in the comment section. So please be honest and do not cheat with yourself. So that's it for today. I hope you have liked the session. These were the important news and events from today. And we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs. Till then, stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. And please do not forget to subscribe to GK Today. With this, Meenu Zayat Sana signing off.